Nancy Ierson, and thank you for joining me this morning. I'm the Gunn Family Chief Curator at the Barnes Foundation, but as you can see today, I'm actually in my apartment. Um, I wish, however, we were in Gallery 11 of the Foundation, looking at the East Wall. Um, that's the image that you have in front of us right now. And really, the thing that I want to focus your attention on isn't that wonderful Matisse still life in the middle of the room, which is probably what hits you first when you do walk into the space. It's a little picture just off to our right hand side, and it's by the French artist Henri Rousseau. Rousseau was born in 1844 in the provincial French town of Laval, and the work in question is called The Family, and let's just focus in right now. So here we have a scene of a family. We have some smartly dressed figures, men and women, different genders on different sides of the picture. And we have a rather large baby right at the front there. Um, and really, let's just focus in on that child. I mean, my goodness, um, it's not the most attractive of children, it's fair to say. And it's huge in relation to the rest of the figures. Really, that baby is dominating the space. They seem to be in a country setting. I love those shuttered windows. And look at the grass. Um, Rousseau has a wonderful way of painting grass. And I'm just going to focus you in here. Look, these wonderful little delineated brush strokes, um, just done with a fine brush there, so really kind of meticulously painted. But what I want to talk about today is who are these people? Now, sadly, we don't have a fixed answer to that. We don't know who the family in question are. But it's probably fair to say that they were people Rousseau knew well. At this point in his career, he isn't a professional painter. Uh, he moved to Paris as a young man to make a living and he discovered painting fairly late on in life. He starts to exhibit work when he's already in his 40s. And so at this time, he's probably taking commissions from friends of the family, um, people in his neighborhood, people who were potentially small shopkeepers, small business people, um, perhaps people who worked for local government, um, modest middle class folks. Uh, and really what we see here is a group of people who are probably dressed up for the occasion. Um, the likelihood is, I think, with that baby right in the center of the scene, they're celebrating perhaps a baptism, perhaps a birth. Um, and if you look at the figures to our left hand side, they're actually holding glasses and those glasses seem to be filled with with some sort of spirit or wine. Now, when I first saw this picture, I thought, oh, well, they must be drinking champagne. But the grey haired gentleman is sat on a barrel. So the likelihood is it's probably wine. Um, and actually, if you go right into the image, you see that there's a little pink tint to those glasses. It's almost as if they're the same colour as the flesh of the hand. So really, perhaps they're drinking rosé. Um, they seem happier for sure than the figures without glasses. So one assumes it's something pretty nice. <laughs> now, one thing that Rousseau was very proud of in the 1890s was having invented something that he called the portrait landscape. And these were portraits that told you something about the people that were represented in them. So it wasn't enough just to have a figure in a scene. You needed to have things in the picture that told you about who those people were. And I wonder, given the fact that the grey haired gentleman is sat on the barrel, given the fact that the whole family are there, maybe these are people who make a living from that trade. Now, that might also lead us to another way of looking at the scene. Um, Rousseau, as I mentioned, was from Laval, which is uh, nowadays in Brittany and France, so in the north of France. And in the 1870s and 1880s, that had been a part of the world which was famous for its wines, or, or at least produced good wines. Um, now, unfortunately, due to a, a blight that had hit the vines, that business had really suffered in the 1880s. Um, and we can all understand how these natural disasters can really affect people's livelihoods. By the 1890s, that business was on the upturn again. Uh, scientific methods had come in. They'd been able to use American vines to revive the French vines. And so I wonder whether in this picture we don't just have the celebration of a baby, 
we have the celebration of another kind of renewal, um, another sign of life going on. Um, perhaps, I wonder, the figures in this scene are not just raising a toast to family, they're raising a toast to the things that keep family going. Now, please, when you do come back to the galleries, make a real point of seeing this work. Um, Rousseau paints this family with such a tenderness. He'd had a lot of family troubles himself. Um, of the seven children he and his wife had had, only one of them actually survived to adulthood. So really, this is something very precious. We see an artist really making the most of the things around him. And really, I think that's something we can all do at this precise moment. Um, we look forward to seeing you back at the Barnes and, uh, and in the meantime, do take care of yourselves and, and do please tune in to our next Barnes Takeout. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.